Okay, so we've got the odometer set and it's back in. Something I do want to show you though, if you noticed on the odometer, it's got a, um, like a triangular shaped end on it. Let me get my phone to focus. Then it's got the grabbers on the bottom. Let me show you on the other one how that goes in because that has to go in a certain way or it won't snap down. All right, if you look on your piece here, pay attention to this piece here. You see how this piece is kind of bent outward at a triangle shape? You want to line your top with that. Then when you push it down, you're going to be pushing it on top of this gear. Okay? Or is it this gear? It's this gear right here that my finger's on. You want to make sure that those gears line up. And then just take your finger or your thumb right there on the black section or over the gear, whichever you want to, and just push down on it real hard. And when you do that, it's going to line the numbers up across this bottom bar and it's going to line the numbers up across this upper bar when you got it in check your gear space make sure your gears lined up and you can do that by taking your finger and just kind of rocking the gear back and forth you see how it's moving that means it's in then take your hand take your thumb on this side over here and just push down real hard on it or what i did was i took my nut runner and I took my nut runner and I put it right there on that metal bar, that metal rail, the rod right there that holds the numbers together. And I just pushed down on it. And you got to push hard. So you want to make sure you got it on a flat, stable surface. And you want to push down as hard as you can on it until you hear it snap. And then it's in. It'll make an audible snap or click sound. Once that's done, here comes the fun part. This is the part that I dread more than anything. We're going to put this back together. So, to do that, let's clean our board up first of all. Let's get all of our broken pieces off of here because we've got a lot of broken pieces. The other thing too is you want to reuse the needle that came off of it because uh, this one was pretty stout so it was going to stay on there for a minute. So, we want to do that. Alright, you can do this one or two ways. You can either flip this over on top or... You can take it like this, because this is the front of the face. Line it up with the center of the where the needle would sit. Set it down like that. Make sure your numbers are right. You want to do this anyway, because if your numbers aren't right, then you got to take the odometer out and fix it. Grab it like you would, like a clamp. Take it, flip it over, set it back down. And you're going to have a screw that goes in down here so I'll put the screws in where they go you got one in here it goes down there these are five millimeter you got this one goes in on this side of the speedometer you got this one that goes on this side of the speedometer and if at all possible you want to try to turn these down by hand sometimes you'll be able to sometimes you won't if they move too loosely, it's possible that the uh, terminal, the space that this goes into is already broken. Or it may not have started threads. These are very coarse thread screws, so they start rather easily. I'm going to use my 5mm nut runner here, my nut driver. And without making this go too far, I'm just going to turn these down. You don't have to tighten these up. You just take them down until they stop. When they stop, that's it. That's all you need. Because these are plastic. You don't need them breaking. You need to start it on the one. We're going to do this one here. Go nice and gentle with it. It'll go down in its own. See, it's threading down nice and easy. Nice and careful. And it stopped. So I stopped. Okay? That's how you keep from breaking these. See, I did this last time and I wrenched these suckers down because I'm an idiot. And uh, I broke it. See, you just take it till it stops. You don't have to manhandle this thing. And as you can see, our board is done. Now, this is the part that's crucial to the survivability of this system. What you want to do is like I mentioned in the previous video this gauge does not have a zero on it 
that is five mile an hour, okay? So, in order to set this needle correctly and have it be as accurate as humanly possible, you have to do this. You have to set the needle where zero would be, which is on the other side of this, tab, this uh, rest right here. So you set your needle down on the other side of that rest. Okay. And your needle, wait for your needle to stop. Because this thing is going to have some action to it, so it's going to roll back a little bit. Okay. So you want to take your needle and you want to set it right up against that rest. And then put it down on the motor. Okay, like that. Now, I don't have it on the motor. There we go. And you'll feel it grab slightly. Okay. That's zero. I'll get an upper view so you can see it better. That's zero. But now you're asking yourself, how am I going to get that to the other side of that rest? Pick the needle up, move it over. Here, let me show you. You don't put it on all the way yet. You just get it on there to where it responds. Then you pick the needle up and it'll slide right over. And you see how that's sitting like that? Take your thumb, after you got it down, press it down all the way till it clicks. And your gauge is set. When you put this in the car, you can use any type of software you want. You can use a scan tool that's got speedometer capability in it. You can use a GPS speedometer on your smartphone, whatever you want to do. And you can test it. And it will be right on the money. So now that this gauge is fixed and it's all back together and we didn't break nothing, I'm going to go install this back in the car. And then we'll take it out and test it. So... The next video we do, we will be out on the road testing out our odometer, making sure that it works.